Alright guys, I'm back. <laughs> so, let's see if I can't do this right this time. Hey there, friend. So... Yes, it's been handled. Here's a jet. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so... capacious. So very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little... relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed. On October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. What happens next? A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. Alright, listen to this guy. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. I'm gonna take all the stuff. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core is like a small arm that wraps easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glassing House Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know <laughs> is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. Oh wow, they're turning the red. That's a very impressive upgrade. Gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid fire G28 grenade ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Okay. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? Oh, yeah, I guess. I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Um... What happens next? To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but... You weather danger well. I'm listening. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. You want me to kill the Kaisar? Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you could find one. So what do you want me to do? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. How do I open the hatch? You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and 
Open sesame. Open sesame seeds, what? Alright, I'll do what you ask. Here, take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. Alright, never. <laughs> I'll show you guys my upgrade again. Do. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can't do this right this time. Take me down, Victor. Penthouse floor. No, dang it. I don't want to go here. Casino. Bioshock Infinite comes out tomorrow. I am pretty excited for that game. Follow me. Aww. Follow me. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'll get the game tomorrow just because I have other things to do. But uh, if I can, I will try to get it. And I will probably play it. <laughs> I'm probably going to get two games tomorrow. One's going to be that. And one's going to be uh, most likely Monster Hunter 3. And I'll probably do videos of Monster Hunter. Um, but no videos of Bioshock. I'm not going to record. If I do do anything with that, it'll probably be... A just play, <laughs> but I haven't done one of those in a long time. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. This is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Ah, oh, man, my partner's not high enough. Alright, I'm on it. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. <clears throat> okay. So, I guess I'll do that for a little extra XP. Let's get back to Yes Man. No, but, yeah, Bioshock Infinite, I probably will maybe do a just play, or whatever I do, and, uh, I want to try and do a review on it, because that's something I've been trying to get to, but I just haven't had the, <laughs> the motivation to do, is I want to start doing, like, reviews of games. I mean, the thing that just... Like, it just takes up so much time just to do Let's Plays and stuff that I don't have much time to do all the stuff to make a review and everything like that. Um, I have, like, a whole bunch of stuff recorded for Dead Space 3 that I want to use for a review. But I first, I need to finish that game up. <laughs> and second, I... Uh, I don't, I just, I have to edit all that stuff, and it's just a lot of energy. So maybe once uh, I don't have much going on, as far as LP, I'll get that going on. 
which is part of my Reefly Gaming channel, which I have done nothing with. You better be here, yes man. Dang it, yes man. Screw him. Just screw him. Uh, okay. Um, maybe I can do one. I think I have to do one other step. Now that I think about it. I'm blinking out. What was I going to do? Yeah, actually select the quest. Do. I want to disable Mr. House. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not like I'm kind of angry like I feel like yes man should be here but because I swear I've done this before where he's done everything for me even tell me what to do but I have no clue where he is I wonder if it's just because I do one more step or did I completely screw it up? I don't know. Maybe can some somebody can let me know in the comments below. I'll probably have the next part finished by then, but feels like uh, I should be able to talk to yes man. And he's always there, so I don't know why it would change. But uh, yeah, I'll end it there. Um, so next part, we're probably gonna head over to Bunker Hill or Fortification Hill, whatever it's called. Do all that. Hopefully, I can talk to Yes Man then. If not, then screw it. I'm just gonna kill everybody. But um. Yeah, I think that's it. So, once I get out of this place, I'll end it. Very, um... I guess it, it was eventful, but not for... Gameplay. Not as far as gameplay goes. Yeah. It's pretty much me screwing up things. People laughing at me. Hurting my feelings. But yeah, so I've been briefly guys watching Fallout New Vegas. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys in the next session where hopefully Yes Man will show up. But uh, see you guys later.